giant teeth, giant fins, and piles of limbs. That's what the trailer promised. But for some reason, we think that's not all the Meg 2 has in store for us this August. There's a little secret that Warner Brothers isn't telling us about. Critics said they don't like it because it doesn't have nuance. Well, how about the 530.2 million nuances? Because that's how much people were willing to pay to see a giant shark get eaten by another giant shark that was then killed by Jason Statham, aka Jonas Taylor, using nothing more than a metal spear. The movie that didn't get critical acclaim received the public's acclaim, which is more than enough for us. So, if you're looking for more action, epic scenes, and a lot of red water, then you probably booked your tickets in advance, just like us. With a budget of $130 million, 2018's The Meg managed to break the box office with over half a billion dollars. So, that's probably why UK director Ben Wheatley, who was behind such movies as Kill List, Rebecca, in the Earth, and Sightseers decided to make the second Meg. Let's hope that his many years of directorial experience will be put to good use. We're hoping that because Wheatley hasn't had much luck with big budget movies in the past, this one will allow him to show his directorial talents. For a screenplay, Dean Jorgeris, along with John and Eric Hober, will make sure this movie is just as action-packed as the first Meg. The songs for Meg 2, The Trench, were composed by the unforgettable Harry Gregson Williams, who is going to be returning from the first movie. Bill Avery and Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, along with Randy Greenberg and Catherine Xu Ying, will be smashing that like button just like you should do if you haven't already. <laughs> oh, goodness, no. In all seriousness, these four will be producing the second installment of this shark-infested movie. The trailer's been out for about two months now, and based on the 31 million views that it's received so far, we're going to assume that Warner Brothers knows what they're doing. From the trailer, we know that there is much more activity in the trench, and who better to investigate the area than Jonas Taylor? He assembles a team of marine biologists, and together, they explore a part of the ocean that has never been touched by human hands. Besides one guy dying from a giant sea worm with hundreds of spiral teeth, we also know this movie is not just going to be about the Meg. Meg 2 is going to be about the king of the Megs. It's the biggest Megalodon shark that we've ever seen. And if the previous movie and the trailers are any indication, we know that there's going to be carnage. Seriously, this Meg is so huge it managed to gobble up a T-Rex like a Tic Tac. Jason Statham, our main Meg-killing man, talked about a second installment of the now iconic movie way back in 2018. But it was too early to tell back then. Although, one of the producers, Catherine X. Ying, started talking about a second installment of the movie just three months after the release of the first. It seems like they wanted to maximize and squeeze out every last drop of Meg from the novel's rights. Who's coming back? Well, according to the new trailer for the movie, we know that Statham's character, Jonas Taylor, will be back, along with James Mac McCrady's, played by Cliff Curtis. Paige Kennedy will also be returning as DJ, and Shuya Sophia Kai will be playing Sine's daughter, Mei Ying. That being said, we shouldn't expect to see Li Bingbing to be back in the role of Su Yin, but to replace them, we know there are going to be a lot of new additions to the cast, like Sergio Perez Mencheta, whom you might recognize from Rambo Last Blood. Sienna Gilroy from Resident Evil will be joining the cast alongside Skylar Samuels from American Horror Story. Their roles are still undisclosed at this moment, but we do know that Wu Jing, the martial artist, will be playing Jiu Ming. Abel Wanamakak will also be joining the cast, and the only details we know is that she will be playing a role of a so-called friend. Production Location from Jason Statham, who blabbed in April 2021, we know that the movie was supposed to begin filming at the start of 2022 in January. Just like Statham suggested, filming began near the end of January at Levenstan Studios, a Warner Brothers studio located just outside of London. The principal photography began on February 4th, 2022. They stayed in the studio until May of 2022, and then the entire cast traveled to Asia, where they presumably shot the rest of the scenes in different locations. The plot for Meg 2, The Trench It's really held its appeal, so when making this movie, one of the things we learned is you could add more comedy than we originally thought in a shark movie, in a way. So I think the movie is probably funnier. There are certainly some big laughs in it. 
There's more shark attacks, there's more crazy ideas that we've tested out on the audience. So the movie, it's testing well. But more importantly, the audience seems to be relating to it very similar to the first movie. This is how one of the movie's producers, Lorenzo D. Bonaventura, described the movie when talking to Steve Weintraub from Collider. Of course, the official plot synopsis from Meg to the Trench says that this movie will offer fans the ultimate adrenaline rush for the summer. They mention that the new movie will supersize its predecessor. And this time, it's not going to be just one Megalodon, we're going to have multiple. All of which are different sizes. According to the official plot for the movie, Jason Statham and Wu Jin, a world-renowned action icon, will be leading a research team to the depths of the ocean. One accident will trigger a chain reaction of chaos. Not only will this incident jeopardize their mission, it will also put them in harm's way, just like we were expecting. The heroes of this movie will be pitted against many Megalodon sharks, and they will try to outsmart, outrun, and outfight all of them. It is a race against time, where shining a camera at a glass tank and saying it is Meg-proof will not be enough to save you. You know who you are. Don't make us point you out. We know that our heroes are going to be running away from three giant Megalodon sharks who are going to escape the trench, and will be hunting together as if they were being organized by some strange force. Also, we know that there are going to be many strange creatures that escape the trench. Like whatever this land-dwelling monster is. That got a shovel in the face! From this scene of the trailer, we also know there is going to be a giant squid tormenting the people at the beach referencing the Kraken from ancient mythology. But word around the online block is that three megs, amphibians, and a Kraken are not the only things this movie will bring to the table. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, gently tap the subscribe button and get a thank you from our editors. The movie is based on The Trench, a novel written by Steve Alton. If they bought the rights to adapt the book, then they are definitely going to borrow the main roster that Alton features in this book. The trailer is letting us know that there are a lot of action sequences with a ton of monsters, but we think that it's just the beginning. Just like in the first movie, when the giant shark they caught was eaten by the actual Meg, we think that they're going to have the three Megs get eaten by a Chronosaurus, the absolute biggest sea-dwelling creature from ancient times. In the book, Alton talks about Jonas Taylor's encounter with the crocodilian shark that was the apex predator of the sea, and we think they're going to introduce this monstrosity at the very end, when we least expect it. Also, many fans talked about unpacking Jason Statham's character as a person, and giving him a better personality instead of just a megalodon hunter. Man, August 4th can't get here soon enough!